Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, it's all about Adobe Creative Cloud Client and also installing it with MDT. So let's get started. Now, the first thing that you need to do is create the package for your Adobe CC. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the steps that I did. First thing that you need to do is log in into your Adobe.com account and get into Manage Team. And on your left hand side, you're going to get the admin tools. You want to click on deployment and it gives you the steps. Now I am deploying it within a Windows environment. So you got to download the Windows environment uh, deploy package kit, right? So you're going to get the CCP launcher. You're going to click on it and it's going to start initializing and installing. And you're going to get this. So make sure that you guys accept it. The client is actually going online and getting all the necessary files that it needs to install. And once everything is completed, you're going to get this option. Now, it really depends on your environment. For me, I'm doing a Creative Cloud for a team. So when I click on that, again, another process of waiting. Eventually, you're going to get this. You're going to log in into your account. And once you log in, you're going to get these three options. It's going to say create package, create license package, create uninstall package. Now we're not really uninstalling anything. So we're either going to do a create package or create license package. For my environment, it's create package. So that's what I clicked. You're going to give your package a name. You're going to give it a location. You're going to pick what type and the license type. Now for me, I gave it a name of Adobe CC package. I dropped it inside a Y drive. It's going to be a 64 bit because I'm going to be pushing this out within my Windows 10 deployment. And my license type is named license. This really depends on your environment, so go for it. Uh, I clicked on change to see what kind of configurations I could do within the package. And this is what I got. These are the options and behavior that you could do within your deployment. This is really up to you. I think I left everything as the default and I clicked on save and then uh, click on next. You pick your language, and uh, once you pick your language, you're going to get this. So I picked North America, and this everything got pre-populated, as you guys can see. And the only things that I picked was Photoshop, InDesign, and Acrobat DC to uh, be billed as a package. And click on Build once you check everything off. And it's going to start downloading, as you guys can see, downloading. The process takes a while. Uh, the only time you're going to see your package uh, gets created inside the whatever path you gave it is when it gets to the process of uh, currently building and once everything is completed you're gonna get this uh, so it basically says application or package completed you're gonna get the client and whatever software you told it that you want it to install you click on close when you click on close what I did was I go I went inside the path of where I dropped my package and you're probably saying, where's the MSI or where, where's the EXE? It's inside the build folder. And with inside the build folder, that's where you're going to get the MSI file that we are going to import into our MDT. So I'm going to close this uh, up and I'm going to go into my MDT server. And within my MDT server, I'm going to show you guys that I already imported inside my MDT. Hopefully you guys know how to import an application. So I'm going to go into my deployment share. Let's go to applications. And here goes Adobe Creative, and this is the MSI. Okay, so real simple to import. All you're doing is right clicking, go to new applications, applications with the source file, fill out all this information, and just point to where that package is located. Now, I'm gonna cancel that because I don't need it because I already did it. I already did it behind the scenes so I'm gonna right click on it and go to properties and I'm gonna show you guys the details now within the details I did an install command of MSI exe C and I gave it a slash I parameter and I just call that MSI with a QB because I want it to be silent okay and within my task sequence I created a basic Windows 10 task sequence for my testing environment because during my deployment time I'm able to pick which application I want if, if you don't want that, you can actually go inside your task sequence and just install it automatically. It's really up to you. And uh, that's it. It's really simple. All you need to do is create the package, import it, uh, do the install command to do it quietly, and then you can push it out. So what I'm going to do is get into my host because, again, I'm, I'm doing everything into a virtual environment. 
I'm going to minimize my VM workstation and let's go into the Fire Explorer. Let's go to my F drive and I'm going to do is a BJ dash Adobe CC. And I'm going to copy this path because we are going to wait, wait a minute. Let's go back. <clears throat> I'm going to copy this path because what we're going to do is create a virtual machine and we're going to deploy. So I'm going to go to file, new virtual machine, next, next. I'm going to be pushing out a Windows 10 machine. Click on next. Uh, I'm going to control A, control V because this is where I want to drop it. And this is the name of the virtual machine that I want it to be called. Click on next. I'm going to leave it at 60 gigs. That's enough. Next, finish. Awesome. Cool. So I'm going to power this virtual machine. Again, I'm doing everything within the Pixie environment. So my Pixie environment has a DHCP server. It's assigning an IP address. I could do an F12. And uh, I'm going to pick the 64-bit uh, boot image because that's what I have within my WDS server. I'm going to hit enter for that. Uh, I really didn't customize my custom settings.ini file. So what I have to do is log into the deployment share to start the process. Once I start the process, then I could pick the application that I want and it's going to deploy. Okay, so like I said before, I didn't set up my custom settings I and I file to, you know, customize this and go through. So I, I had I actually have to click on it and log into the deployment share to uh, initiate it. So make sure that whatever account you're using has full access to that deployment share because if not it is not going to run so if everything goes well you're going to get this awesome and we are going to pick this guy right here again it is a standard task sequence is nothing special about it uh, it's just very standard only don't the only thing I did with it is it's just I just named it Adobe CC client it's nothing special to it okay uh, click next on that and I'm going to do is change the computer name okay you actually customize this within your custom settings i and i file click on next on that uh, click next and again you could customize your uh custom settings i and i file to skip all this stuff uh, i'm going to change the time zone to eastern click on next and then the application i only have one right now within my ndt server so i'm going to pick it and i'm going to click on next and we're going to begin and it's gonna start doing its thing, wiping, reformatting the hard drive and installing the operating system. And then once it installs the operating system, I think it's gonna reboot, get into the desktop and do its thing. And then it's gonna start installing. Now the process of installing the Adobe CC client takes a while because again, it installs the client and, and then it installs whatever applications you want. Now I had Adobe Photoshop, InDesign, and Acrobat DC to be installed within the package. So that takes some time for all that stuff to be pushed down to your virtual machine or your physical machine using MDT. Okay, this is always a great thing. The operating system deployment completed successfully. Yes, two thumbs up. I'm going to click on finish. And once I click on finish, it's going to do its, uh, its final cleanup behind the scenes. So you can see our Adobe Creative Cloud client has been installed. And if we click on start, uh, it looks like our Adobe InDesign and our Photoshop has been installed. How awesome is that? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to install the Adobe Creative Cloud client and uh, other programs such as Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, and all that good stuff. Again, you have to create the package, use the deployment tools that 
Adobe gives you and uh, import that package inside your MDT and deploy it and then you're good to go if you have any questions or comments leave them at the bottom and I catch you guys on the next one peace out